What's going on, everybody? My name is Flame, and welcome back to another video. Gosh, it sure does feel like it's been a long time, but I do have a video coming up, and I apologize for my absence as I have been very busy with life, and there's been a lot of things that have kept me from making videos like these. But in today's video, I made a massive discovery, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So there's this tool that I found a few days ago, and this tool, just let me adjust my camera a little bit so you can see my face better. <laughs> this tool I found a few days ago is called the Ultimate Windows Tweaker Tool. Now, essentially what this tool does is it is everything that is my tweaks before from my previous deep loading videos, except all in one gigantic file like your customization tweaks here, like disabling the start animations, the disabling a lot of the ink stuff, all this other junk that you don't need, user account control, all that other stuff. But this tab right here, the performance tab is pretty epic. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I spent so much time just tweaking every one of these settings, but what they all do, it, they have very different uses. So in the case here, obviously you just disable the Windows Security Center. You can disable the Windows Tablet Input Service. Disable Superfetch and Prefetch if you're on a different version of Windows. Disable Microsoft Edge entirely instead of having it just be disabled like normal. You can fully disable any of the features in Windows that you do not like. In fact, I actually might disable a couple of these myself after this video because I really don't like a lot of them. Obviously, if everything is not checked inside of the privacy tab, you should definitely check it because that's all being sent to Microsoft. And that's also getting rid of your performance. Now, the coolest thing that I have found from this tweak in particular is enable the network adapters onboard processor now before i would have to take all these things tcp optimizer low ping testing out different different dns servers all this stuff and i even just recently found a new registry tweak that also gives me better performance on my network but there was still the rising issue of input latency and i've got to save when I found out about this tweak, it surprised me so much because I had no clue that the way Windows operates is it's basically just saying, hey, let the processor can like render your internet instead of using the onboard processor built into your network card or your motherboard's network chip. So essentially, your CPU is having resources stolen from it because there's, it's Windows saying, hey, use the CPU to do the network instead of your onboard processor. And I think there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, biggest one I'm thinking about why they did that in the operating system is because I did notice that um, when I did this, my network speeds weren't great at first and then i realized when i enabled it it reset all my network settings so then i just had to redo them all over again but then after i did it it, it really didn't have much of a difference and um i already have this week enabled but i'll have a link to this down in the description in my google drive but you click this you hit enable the network adapter onboard processor in the additional menu, as well as going into the security and privacy tab and disabling everything related to privacy. Like just check mark all of these. Once you're done with that, you should see a significant performance uptake from this, just from this application alone. And you know what's cool? You guys can search for tweaks inside of Windows, inside of this app. And uh, by the way, all the credit goes to the Windows Club. Obviously, I have no idea that this even existed until I found this. But man, does it ever make a difference? And you know what? If you guys don't see a difference or if it's bad for you, you can always just go back into the application, uncheck the option, and then you're done. So I'm just going to go ahead and close it. And I'm going to open up my speed test here for a second. So let me open that real quick. 
So here's my speed test. My ping average is about nine milliseconds. My internet speed is unchanged. In fact, it actually is more than it used to be. Now, you're probably wondering, gee, why are you living with such a slow connection in 2020? Can't you get 100 megabit or gigabit or something like that? Honestly, guys, I don't really do that much on the internet. I just do light streaming in 720p60, and I don't really download that much. So 34 megabit a second is fine for me, and really, that's fine. But the difference is there, and you will notice that when you move your mouse around on screen after you've done that, it will feel so much faster and way more responsive. Now, I don't know if latency mon is going to freak out because I have a bunch of applications open, but we're going to find out right now what my real-time latency is. My driver latency for my graphics is going to be a little bit higher right now because I'm recording with NVENC, but that's a given. But yeah, um, 12 seconds in, we're only hitting about 77, 50. That's, that's pretty dang good, man. I'm not even going to lie. I'll move my camera down so that you guys can see my latencies in real time. Only three hard page faults, five hard page faults, six. It's probably just me recording. Let's see. Yeah, it's OBS. Okay. Well, essentially, believe me when I say this, when I restarted Windows and after I did that tweak, my latencies were down in the 20s and 30s for DCP latency. And my driver latency went all the way down from what it is now at like 187, which is stock. When I'm not recording, I get like, 40 to 50 on my driver and if you guys are asking about drivers um new video coming up where i'm testing this new driver right here it's the newest nvidia driver as of the date of this video i do not know if you are watching this video later about this tweak but this is the latest driver that i'm testing i also have two graphics cards i'll get into that in another video as well but thanks again guys for watching and i just hope that this tweet can help you guys out in the meantime while you're waiting for more content from my channel thanks again for watching and please like the video subscribe share hit the buttons you know to get me going in the algorithm and i'll see you guys in the next one